Another interesting question that I have received, this question pertains to how many hours I should train per day. Obviously, it first depends on how much time you can devote per day for your shooting. And that depends upon whether you are a student or you are employed or you are self-employed. Now, if you are a student, you still have a time limit because you have to go back home and complete your academic, the studies related to your schooling or college. So again, there is a limit to the time that you can devote. The second thing is for people who are employed and again, they have a fixed timing, say from eight o'clock to six o'clock or that is the standard time. Either they shoot before they go to the to the job or they can come and shoot after they come back from the job. You know, the most well suited are the people who have their own business, who have the 24 hours within their control. So they can devote more number of hours and any time slot they feel like. Having said that, it also depends upon what is the level and standard that you want to go to. If you're just aiming for pleasure, club level, then I think two hours, two to three hours, 60 to 90 shots per session is good enough. And that also five times a week. If you're planning to aim for a higher level, let us say you want to represent your country, then it doubles. You have to spend nearly five hours. I have already given in my, one of my videos of how many hours you should be shooting and how many how many pellets you should be shooting. And I had said that anything between 120 shots, 90 to 120 shots per session multiplied by three sessions roughly comes to about 300 to about 360 shots per day. Now, when I mentioned that, one of my subscribers said that he is exaggerating. Well, let me tell you, if you get into the national squad of the Indian team, then you will find that shooters report in the morning at about 9 o'clock and they finish training by about 5 o'clock. And in between this time, they have about 45 minutes or one hour break for lunch. And most of the other time they are practicing and training. So how many hours does that take? It's almost like an eight hour job, not necessarily shooting only one event, but different events. Your training consists of three types. One is the technical training with your pistol on the firing point, shooting either dry or live. The second thing is your physical fitness, which is very important, which you have to spend every day about at least half an hour to one hour to 90 minutes, increasing the strength of your specific muscle groups which are used in shooting and increasing your flexibility. And the third thing is your mental training. Mental training is equally important and it is usually ignored by 90% of the shooters. So roughly about five hours with the pistol and hour to hour, hour and a half of physical fitness and another hour for your mental skill training. So if you add this up, it comes to about seven to eight hours. The main reason why I'm telling you how many hours are required to become an international shooter is because you have to be mentally prepared to put in that many hours in training. If you think that you can just go and shoot 60 shots or 70 shots and hope to become an international shooter, well, you're living in La La Land. And I'm very sorry to be very blunt. So if you cannot devote that kind of time, you should be having a goal which is proportionate to the level of input that you're putting in. So if it's two hours, fine, shoot in the national level, shoot in the state level, win a few medals and be happy about it. But if you seriously think of international, then you have to spend five to eight hours per day. Now, this is a check, a reality check. And before you start dreaming about the Olympics or international, please think about what I've said. Go on the national squad, meet the national squad shooters, ask them how many hours they are training and how many hours of training do they put in every day. Once you have that idea, you will know what is the commitment that is required. If you cannot give that kind of commitment, I suggest you choose some other field 
of interest or profession where the time that you spend in will be more valuable and you will get maximum output profession wise career wise and making a personal success of your life thank you